This is the electronic voting machine, the EVM, which the Election Commission uses for conduct of elections to the state assemblies and the parliament in the country. EVM basically consists of two parts. This is the control unit, the CU, and this is the ballot unit, this is the BU. Now, what happens is, the ballot unit is kept in the voting compartment. This is the voting compartment, so that we have secrecy of vote here in the country. So along with this, along with the EVM, now we have the VVPAT, that is the Voter Verifiable Paper Audit Trail, which is a new entrant on the election framework. Now basically the ballot unit contains the ballot paper which has the serial number, the name and the symbol of the candidate. Mm -hmm. Now in this case, it's a dummy ballot paper which is used only for training and awareness purposes. Mm -hmm. As you can see, AAA, BBC and also the dummy symbols are there. Next to the ballot, uh, the candidate's name is a button. Now, the easiest part of the EVM is that the, can the voter has to just press the blue button in front of the candidate of his choice and the vote gets recorded. Mm -hmm. Now, this control unit is at the polling station of these are kept together here just for demonstration purpose. Mm -hmm. But in the polling station, this control unit is kept with the presiding officer. Mm -hmm. And these two units are kept in the voting compartment. This is the voting compartment. So that whenever the voter casts his vote, he can cast it in absolute secrecy and nobody sees what is happening. Now what happens is once the machines are set in the polling station, in the beginning we do a mock poll, as you already know, in the presence of the polling agents. So 50 votes are, cost, are cast in the machine and after that the votes are counted through the control unit and also the slips are taken out from the VVPAT and they are tallied just to make sure and ensure all the participants that the machine is functioning absolutely accurately and there is nothing amiss here. Now, how the vote is released, basically the presiding officer what he does is he just has to press the ballot button here. Now the minute he presses the ballot button, a red light glows on the control unit which shows that the machine is now in readiness. The minute the red light glows here, there is a green light, the ready light which is there on the ballot unit. This is the ready light. This light shows that now this ballot unit can accept the mm. signal for the particular vote to be cast. Now the voter what he has to do is, suppose he chooses candidate number 4, mm. he just presses this blue button, mm. the minute he presses this, a red light glows here and along with it simultaneously we have the slip which gets printed mm. in the VV pad and it is visible through this transparent window for 7 seconds and simultaneously there is this beep sound mm. which says that the vote has been recorded successfully in the control unit mm. and the slip falls mm. into the ballot slips compartment here mm. which on the poll day is completely sealed mm. and not accessible to anybody. Okay. So this is the process in which a vote is cast. Yeah. So basically what the VVPAD does is mm. it allows the voter mm. to verify the vote that he has cast mm. in the favor of the candidate of his choice. Yeah. Now I'll take out the slip and show you how the slip looks like. This was the slip which was just printed. So as you can see, it has the name, the serial number and the symbol. Mm -hmm. So these slips can be counted to verify the electronic result which is stored here. But that can be done under certain circumstances only. So uh, one of those circumstances is that in case somebody, the candidate or his agent requests a returning officer mm -hmm. under section 5060 for a recount. Mm -hmm. The commission has also mandated a mandatory verification of one polling station for every constituency to do a verification of the slip count with the electronic count which is there in the CU. Plus, of course, if somebody goes in the election petition, so on the orders of the Honorable Court, the slips can always be taken out and the count verified with the control unit. So this is basically the architecture of the EVMs Great. and the VVPATs. Yeah. And this entire setup is not possible anywhere because a lot of time allegations are made that you can get it from anywhere and you know this is hacked, this can be hacked and this can be tampered with. Uh, see, uh, the EVMs which are used by the commission are completely standalone, non-networked, non-tamperable, robust and integrity, machines with integrity and credibility. There are two pillars on which this entire framework stands. One is the technological safeguards which are there in the design and technological features of the CU, BU and the VVPATs. The other is the detailed administrative protocols, security framework and procedural guidelines that we have installed around the EVM ecosystem which prevents any unauthorized access to these machines by any unauthorized person. 
So these machines remain under the control and custody of the election officials at all times. So it's impossible to take these machines, do any kind of mischief, and bring them back into the even ecosystem. Mm -hmm. That's just not possible. Right.